Hey everybody, Dave Rollins here. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. Today's topic is the Bees Rotary Film Processor. So this unit is awesome. I've been using one for quite a few years now and I absolutely love them. Bees Processor is a rotary film processor. So this means it spins the tank and does your agitations for you. Now normally what we would be doing is taking our tank and using inversion method for agitations but this isn't necessarily the smoothest results and also sometimes development times can be you know eight ten minutes and this will spin the tank for you in the two directions and allow for consistent smooth results on your film so this processor is unique in the sense that it uses these magnetic triggers and this magnetic trigger system allows for the processor to do exactly two revolutions in each direction regardless which brand of tank you're using or how much chemistry you've filled into the tank. So a larger tank, let's say for instance my 8 reel tank, takes quite a bit of chemistry and so if it just had a standardized rotary the weight of this would cause it to not do two revolutions properly and these magnetic triggers on the tank allow it to know when it's done two revolutions in each direction. So this processor has three different speeds. The first one being pulsed rotation, the second one being a slow speed, and the third one being a fast speed. So here you can see the rubber bands that come with the tank and these help the tank to both stay in the proper spot when it's rotating but it also helps to hold on the magnetic triggers which you'll see here. Also has these stickers which help with placement and and Benoit has a great video showing how to apply the sticker and get the proper placement going for your tank. There's also these little penguins we've been calling them and these penguins go in the bottom of your center column and they just allow for the reels to make sure that they're spinning with the tank instead of staying in one place because without that in place this is just a tube so it, it in theory can just sit in one place while the tank is spinning and we want to make sure that the reels and the film spin with the tank. So this processor allows for you to do economy processing, meaning you can use half the amount of chemistry that is recommended for your processing tank. And it also, uh, in the manual, states that there's economy processing and then there's quality processing. I have found that the tank works best when you just use your normal tank worth of chemistry. So I'll fill the tank fully and put it on the rotary processor and let it do its thing. And I've got a method for making sure that these uh, specific Patterson tanks don't leak and I'll show you that here in a second. When you have the tank and you go to put your lid on, you'll seal the tank all the way around and then you'll peel one edge and press in on the center and you'll hear a little pss come out and that is the air coming out and creating a vacuum seal. So I've used the Bees rotary film processor for a couple years now and have had great results with it. I've developed well over 4,000 rolls for my customers and for myself. And I want to share a few examples here of 35 millimeter film and 120 medium format film developed using this processor. I want to make note that people have uh, come to me with concerns about temperature drift, so the, the temperature dropping when you're doing color film processes. So the first thing to talk about is to make sure that you pre-soak your film and preheat the film. So pour in uh, water that is at the proper processing temperature or a little bit hotter to preheat the reels, the film, and the tank. So this is a crucial thing to prevent temperature drift. The other thing is for C41 films, it's normally recommended to pour in the chemistry at 102 degrees. 
I will pour in my chemistry at 103.5 and this mitigates the temperature drift which will naturally happen even just because there's uh, a loss of temperature from simply pouring the chemistry into your tank. For E6 which is normally recommended to do at 104 degrees I pour in my chemistry at 105.5 degrees. Now while these work for me and using my thermometer and the ambient temperature in the rooms that I am in You'll want to do tests for yourself, so be sure to process test strips and see how they're turning out. Don't just, you know, take my word for it without having spent the time to see what your setup does. So test strips just being little strips of film. I'll shoot a roll with all the same image and I make sure to get a properly exposed image on the entire roll and I'll just snip off bits about that long and process that and make sure that everything is going well. This is also a great way to test your chemistry and make sure that your chemistry is still working. All right, so in the link below, you can purchase this rotary processor and I am just a huge fan of these processors. I own three of them now and they work so solid. The other thing that the company offers is these four x five development reels and I'll do another video about these but I'm a big fan of these. All my four x five work is developed using these and I think I have three or four of them now. Absolutely love these. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, subscribe and in the future I'm going to have uh, on my website some prints for sale and a donation button so that you can help you know keep me going and keep these videos going it costs a decent amount of money for me to just make a simple video because I gotta buy film I gotta buy chemistry and all these things but I really really want to break down gatekeeping in the community and just keep the love for photography going so whatever you're doing if you've got any questions you can follow me on Instagram at Synodar and feel free to direct message me with any questions that you might have and in the comments below I do my best to get to them so yeah thanks everybody for tuning in until next time <laughs>